Hey guys, welcome back to World Mechanics. Today we are going to show you how to fix a problem with a Dodge vehicle. We are working on a Dodge Magnum, but it will be the same for many models like Charger, Chrysler even 300, many, many Dodge Chrysler vehicles, guys. Okay, we have the diagnostic tube right here. And uh, <coughs> let me show you what we have, guys. That's the code C121A, one, one which is active steering angle, uh, angle sensor, not uh, initialized. So uh, what we did, we replaced the battery on that thing and uh, now as you can see it's not, uh, it's not calibrated, it, uh, the steering uh, angle sensor is not calibrated. If you do some front end work, front end alignment sometimes it will do that. So what you guys need to do now, you need to, okay we're using maxi C's. So let me show you now, you need to go to, uh, in our case uh, we just connect the computer, okay right here and now we need to go to ABS module and after that there is a special function and after the special functions load what you need to do you need to go to initialize ABS right here so you need to select that one okay routine is to be used to initialize ABS ECU after either ECU or related component replacement so click OK right here and now please verify that the vehicle is stationary on level ground with wheel straight and the brake pedal released. So we need to make sure that the wheel is straight. Okay, the tires are straight as well. Like that. And now you need to click OK. So we're waiting and we're going to wait about 3 seconds for that. ESP sensor initialized and completed. Please continue to finish. OK and wait another three seconds <coughs> checking if the vehicle is equipped okay now we're waiting so about three more seconds ignition on and engine off and we have the ignition off on as you can see because all the lights are blinking yes and click yes again Okay, codes have been successfully erased, return to function menu, okay, and let's read the code, we need to turn the ignition off now, okay, we click OK, and after that we need to go ahead and we need to turn the ignition on, we need to confirm, click OK again, so we're going to wait a couple seconds again, cycle ignition and press OK. So we need to go again, like that. It will take you a couple of minutes, but in order to complete the drive test, the engine must be running at first and then vehicle has to be driven between 3 and 15 miles with the miles per hour with a turn that is at least 90 degrees wide. So we're going to click OK. OK, and the ESP light will flash until we actually do the test. Then the drive test failed. Okay, so what we're going to do is start engine now. So we're going to start the engine of the vehicle. Okay, next it says hit the brakes even if the vehicle has manual transmission. Turn the steering wheel full left, full right, then full left back to center. Hit OK and done. Okay, we're hitting the brake. And now we are going to go all the way to the left, then to the right after that as it says, and then full to the left again. Okay, you can see the lights are still blinking and now we need to go and center. Okay, just like that. What we need to do now, click OK, just like that. Okay, we are going to wait a little bit now to give it some time. Okay, now we're going to drive it a little bit, guys, and you need to turn all the way now uh, about uh, 90 degrees. Okay, turn right here. Okay, that's 90 degrees. So you need to go between 3 and 15 miles per hour. Okay, now you can stop. Actually, the light is off now. And now it says clearing rolls information, engine must not be running, turn off engine and turn the ignition to run position. Okay, and we are almost ready guys. Okay, we are still waiting a little bit, a few more seconds. 
Okay, clearing rose by successfully completed. Okay, and successfully completed. That's it, guys. So no ABS lights. Uh, nothing, nothing like that now. Okay, right, guys. And after we start, we don't have the ABS light. We don't have the ESP light and traction control works now we can turn it on and off so that's how we calibrate it that's how we do the procedure with max cc's guys thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe and give us a like we have a new video on our channel every day